2600 here and today we're taking a look at fire truck from Atari released in 1978 now fire truck is one of the earliest examples of a co-op arcade game now with fire truck you have one person who can steer the front and one person who can steer the back or if you're playing single player you can choose the front or the back now when I play single player I prefer the back now as you can see I'm doing very poorly in this video I actually hold one of the world records. I'm tied for first, or was tied for first with Twin Galaxies before they switched over the game boards and all that drama. But, prior, but besides that, I'm actually in second place on Arcade, A-U-R-C-A-D-E dot com's website. Um, and which is funny because I'm right behind Randy Lawton, Bob Lawton, owner of Fun Spot's brother. He has first place on Orcade's website. On the old Twin Galaxies, we were both tied for first place. Now what I love about this game is when you get good at steering the back, the whole point is you keep it tight and straight with the front cab, and when you get the pattern, you can keep it so that each turn just matches up. When you do really well, you get an extended time where you can earn bonus points, which is awesome. Now, Try to ignore the double dragon music in the background. I know it's hard, but that's the cabinet right next to this that's super loud. Now, every time I play this game, I can't help but think about Kramer in that Seinfeld episode on the back of the fire truck in New York City trying to control the back. It just makes me laugh. But anyway, if you see one in person, give it a play. Fire truck is a great game. They're hard to come by because they're big and they're old. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Kramer, what the hell are you doing back there? The Soto's down.